This is the last radio I'm going to try this with. I'm going to try and take this radio right here apart. I don't think I'm going to cut the coils though. I'm just going to try and hook my uh, just going to try and hook my little audio wires here. I'm going to try and hook these to the tuning capacitor and wire an antenna without cutting the coils. I'm starting to think that me cutting the coils is what's killing my radios. I could be wrong. I don't know. But I'm going to try and take this one here apart. Here's our next radio. Now unfortunately this radio has two tuning capacitors. And I have no idea which one. This radio that I'm working on is a very expensive radio. I only paid a dollar for it. But when this was new, this was like a hundred and fifty dollar radio. Twenty-five years ago. Picks up AM, FM, the analog TV stations which aren't around anymore. It picks up the weather radio and it also picks up shortwave. The only problem is is I have no idea which transmitter goes to FM. And to be honest with you, I really don't want to screw up the rest of these, so I'm not gonna cut these coils. I'm just gonna wire my audio cables to these tuning capacitors here and see if I can get one of these to make the radio transmit. If not, I'm just going to have to go to the flea market and find another radio and uh, screw around with that until I get... Before I do anything, i got to figure out how I'm going to get an audio source because I was using this radio to get an audio source. This little headphone jack will obviously help. For right now, I'm going to be using this MP3 player. Let's see what we can do. As you see, the radio does work. Now we have it on AM. Uh, hang on. Okay. The band switch is right here. I think that's FM. Hang on a minute. Alright, I found FM. Now all I gotta do is tune the radio to 108. Okay. Alright.
Now I am getting a static from the receiver. I was getting static from the receiver. Tune to FM. All right. This is my second radio that I'm trying to work on here. I haven't got this to transmit either, but I've got it to reamplify. I have the one wire wrapped around that coil right there. It's funny because this radio has two tuning capacitors. You don't see many radios like that. Now I didn't bother cutting any of these coils. I don't want to destroy this radio but if I can get it to transmit I'll leave it transmit but right now I'm just touching these uh, variable capacitors here. I'm using this right here as my amplifier right now. I'm going to use this radio to see if I can pick up the signal. It's got a decent size antenna so why not. I'm starting to lose my patience with this. I've already killed one radio. I'm not going to kill another one. But I do want to get this thing to work. Alright, I'm going to remove the wire from this capacitor and I'm going to tie the wire to this one right here. See what happens if I put the wire around there. When you work on projects like this, you got to have a lot of patience. If you want to accomplish something, it's not just going to it's not just going to happen with a blink of an eye. You got to fool around with things and you basically got to you just got to use your brain. I don't know what I'm doing, but if I figure out how to get this to work, see it reamplifies through the speaker. So I know that my sound, my little amplifier here is working. I know that. And there's some coils here, but since I destroyed the last couple radios, I really don't want to cut them coils. All right, I just tuned the uh, capacitor here to about 149 or 104.9 megahertz. And I got a carrier tone on this radio. I got a dead tone. I'm going to see what happens now. Well, the Dental Association spoke to us on it. Okay, okay, I got sound coming out of the other radio. Not much. I didn't get much, but I'm getting static out of that radio now. Okay, that's coming out of this radio. It's not exactly working yet, but I'm one step closer. Alright, I got a lot of sound coming out of my receiver. The 
thing is, is that I don't know if this is transmitting. That right there is tuned to about 108. And this is tuned to about 104. So, I don't really know why there's any sound coming out of there. I didn't cut any coils. I didn't really take anything apart. All I'm doing is hooking the input seeking a recall to the capacitors and I got sound and keep a one seat majority I got sound coming out of both radios Democratic senators were ousted from office in September before I go any further I'm going to take a break from this I figured out how to get a carrier tone I didn't have to cut any coils I didn't have to cut any wires all I did was take the radio apart and I turned the dial a little bit down from 108 and my receiver is on 108 megahertz now it's really strange I didn't cut anything I didn't do anything just automatically the static stopped as soon as I turned the dial now I'm gonna try and give it some sound signal and see if it'll transmit it's almost like the radio is transmitting a carrier without anything hooked up to it I'm gonna show you what happened I turn the dial, now watch, I'm going to turn the dial now, you're going to hear that change, I'm going to turn it again, I'm going to turn it all the way down, there's nothing going to happen, when I get to that, you're going to see when I get to 104, all of a sudden the sound stops. Right there is our carrier at 104. Now as you can see this radio is set to around 108. Right there is the carrier. Now I'm thinking that if I add a sound signal, which I already have coming out of my amplifier here, I can transmit from this radio to that radio without cutting any coils and without breaking anything basically without destroying this radio here alright I tried hooking my sound up to all of the variable capacitors that are inside of the radio and I haven't had much luck so I'm going to try and wrap an antenna now I'm thinking that maybe if I wrap my antenna around one of these uh, jumpers right here let me put the light on that so you can see I'm thinking that if I wrap the wire maybe right here right here I'm almost positive is the FM tuning capacitor so if I wrap a wire around right here one of these jumpers somewhere around here or if I wrap a wire maybe around one of these bolts here maybe I'll be able to get this thing to transmit so I'm gonna wrap a wire either around here I'm gonna try them both I'm gonna wrap a wire around here and here see if that improves my signal at all because right as of now I'm not as of now the signals not going from here to that antenna so that's pretty bad but um, I'm gonna try it anyway see what I can do right now I've got my wire this is another plug I cut off of a television I'm gonna wrap this wire either around the tuning capacitor or whatever I can basically wherever I get a signal so first I've got to cut it
now I've got to burn the end. Sure enough, now that we've got our antenna, which is this very long wire connected, I don't hear any more static coming out of the radio. Alright, we got our antenna now. All I did was wrap it around the uh, handle here, and I didn't bother cutting the other end yet. We don't really need it, but as you see, there is no static at all coming from the radio now, so we have our carrier tone. All I got to do now is add the audio signal, which I've been trying to do and haven't had any luck. I'm going to keep trying, see what happens. There isn't a peep coming from our radio. So now what I'm going to do is try and add the sound sound input. I'm going to pause the video. And uh, I'm going to touch these wires around on all the capacitors and I'm going to move these wires around and touch them around in different places and then I'm going to start the video again and I shall let you know my results <laughs> we're a lot farther now than what we were okay I've got the radio to transmit it's not a very strong signal and it's not there's not much modulation but this is the farthest that we've gotten yet on this particular radio here all radios are different but on this radio right here I have my positive, positive wire from my amplifier. Let me get a clearer picture. All right, I got my positive wire around the center uh, variable capacitor here. Now I noticed this integrated circuit down here. I don't know what this does, but if I put my negative wire my negative, I don't really know if positive and negative matter much, but if I put my negative down here, sorry about that, my camera cut off for some reason. Something tells me that was interference from the radio. Anyway, if I slide my wire down here, I have sound coming out of there. Now I'm going to try and get this to stay and see how good my range is. WPFG and right. Community 8. Now that was coming out of this speaker. We don't want that. Right here. Okay. Right there is where we need our wire. Let me put it on the other side and see if it gets any louder here. Hang on, my, I gotta re-tie my wire here. 
had just figured out how to get a clear signal on this particular radio. You don't have to cut any coils, you don't have to break anything. You simply take your radio apart. You have to make sure you got a wire around one of the uh, variable capacitors. Okay, I got a clearer picture. On this particular radio right here, I have my antenna wrapped around here. My antenna is just a wire that I cut off of a television set. I don't even have the end cut. You don't really need to. However, I have that wire wrapped around right here. And this jumper, you want to put your negative. Make sure you have your negative wire on a jumper. I'm not saying every radio is going to be like this, but on this particular radio, you need to put your negative. Sorry about that, my camera cut off again. However, I have my positive lead on the center variable capacitor here. It's right in front of an integrated circuit. When you do this by yourself, you're going to have to take your wires, you're going to have to touch them around. Whatever you do, don't touch your wire on this power transformer. If you touch your wires around on your power transformer, you're going to blow out your amp. And if you touch these wires here, they are your power wires. You're most likely going to get a very serious shock from that. Don't touch anything over here. And don't touch that capacitor. Every radio has a capacitor. Or Every radio has got microchips around this area. If I were you, I'd just stay away from that. Don't go over here. No need. On this particular radio, I have my positive here. And I'm going to put my negative lead on that jumper. I have my antenna right here next to the tuning capacitor. Yours probably won't have two tuning capacitors. If it does, it's a very expensive radio, and I don't recommend that you screw it up. Because this is a very expensive radio here. Anyway, wrap your antenna wire around one of these chips. This one has a wire going from the capacitor to a variable capacitor here. Your antenna wire goes there, your positive goes around one of these, and at least on this radio your negative goes on that jumper. The component number on this capacitor here, or this radio here, is number J2. You need to tie your negative lead to jumper J2. And this right here is my dad. Say hello. Hello, world. Hello. How you doing? I haven't done it yet, but this is going to be my new antenna for the transmitter when I'm done. I'm going to hook my negative lead up to the jumper. As you see, I've already got my antenna taped to the ceiling. I had to reroute it get a complete uh, signal here. When I'm done I'm going to hook this up probably outside maybe to the roof. But for right now this is the antenna. I'm going to hook my negative lead to the jumper and I'm going to take that radio around the block and see how good the signal is. I have an 8-track tape in there playing now but the signal is not very good. I made some uh, adjustments. I found that this jumper right here, there is no number for it. But I found that I found that this jumper down here works a little better. That's negative, and this is positive. My antenna is wrapped. Camera cut off again. However. The antenna is wrapped next to the tuning capacitor here. All radios are different, but this one right here I got to transmit by doing that. The antenna is connected to there. Negative is connected to the jumper. If I move this, all sound disappears. But if I hook that wire to the jumper, I get sound. And the positive is connected to one of these tuning capacitors. Or a uh, variable capacitor is actually what they're called.
And I just got an 8 track, but. That, uh, that doesn't. That don't sound good. Let me pull that out. Here's my 8-track tape. I'll worry about that a little later. When I pulled that out, I knocked the wire off. There we go. Let's just put it back on radio. Now this is around 90.1. I have this coming through the wire, into here, through this wire, into the radio. I hope this helped you. All radios are different. Good luck. Peace. Thank you for watching.